Hey guys, it's Maya. So welcome to part two of the Jupiter series. We're going to be talking about Jupiter through the houses. This is going to reveal in what area of your life that you can expect to see the greatest magic for your Jupiter magic to manifest or in what area of your life to focus your Jupiter gift for greatest impact. So in order to know which house Jupiter falls in, you'll need to know your exact time of birth and you'll need to generate your chart. And there are lots of different house systems and depending on which house system you use, it may alter where Jupiter falls in your chart. So for me personally right now, my house preference is the whole sign house system. But you just choose whatever house system most resonates to you at this time. If you're not sure, maybe compare different house systems and see which description resonates most with you. So I'm going to be covering all 12 houses in this video and you'll see below in the description some timestamps and if you're kind of impatient and you want to just jump right to your Jupiter house placement, you should be able to do so by going into the description. So if Jupiter falls in your first house, then your luck and expansion and your insight and your area of greatest wisdom is actually focused in your sense of self through the area of life that's being blessed is your sense of self. It's actually you. It's literally you. It's who you are as a person. It's how you present yourself to the world. It can make you really beautiful, especially like your face. But it can also relate to our physique. So it can give you really good luck in that self-presentation. If your Jupiter is falling in your first house, then in order to bring in like the most magic juju, you want to focus on that sense of who you are. You want to put forth, I am this. And your answer to I am this should be your Jupiter sign. So if, you're, if your Jupiter is in Sagittarius and it's in the first house, then you want to really put forth, I am a philosopher. I am a carrier of higher wisdom. And you want to style your hair that way. You want to dress in that way. You want to look the part, be the part. So whatever your Jupiter sign is, if it's in the first house, be that sign. Like embody that and that will expand your life. Whatever your Jupiter sign is, that is something that you can find a lot of value in and it's also something that you may be able to use to make money. The second house has to do with your material stability, your money, your material gain. It also has to do with lending and borrowing money. And your feelings of worth and your occupation, depending on what your Jupiter sign is, if you apply it to a monetary sort of source, a way of making money, your work, your investments, if you invest in those sorts of things, then you're going to get big returns. So let's say that your Jupiter is in Gemini and it falls in the second house. So your magic gifts have to do with using your words to dazzle other people. Then if that then falls in your second house, you could have success as a motivational speaker where you go around and you speak about hot topics or you could get involved in doing some writing or something like that, like writing up articles online and actually really, really make something of it. Or you could invest in the communication industry, like maybe you invest in a totally new like form of social media or a new cell phone company or something like that and you end up making big dividends you just take your Jupiter sign and then think about how can I use that Jupiter sign or magic to make money or for my career or how can I invest in that or how can I bring more of that sign into my life and kind of own it physically and that's going to be how you focus your Jupiter in the second house. You want to take your Jupiter gift and you want to apply it to any of the following areas. So the third house can have to do with our siblings. So like let's say that you have Jupiter in Libra, so you're really good at one-on-one -on -one relationships and then it falls in the third house, then it could mean that your relationship with your sibling becomes like this major, major relationship and you do like everything together and it makes your life amazing. 
The third house also has to do with social media and all kinds of communications. So whatever your Jupiter sign is, if your Jupiter falls in the third house, consider communicating, teaching, or writing about that thing. So let's say your Jupiter is in Virgo, but it falls in the third house, then you could have a lot of success teaching about health, for example, or teaching about workplace issues. Jupiter in the third house wants you to take your Jupiter gift and it wants you to give it to your local community. Like literally whatever your Jupiter gift is, express it right in your neighborhood, in your local community, or in the community that you were born in, or give your Jupiter gift like back to the elementary school that you went to or things like that because third house is about that community that we were raised in, that, you know, the community right around our house, it could make you sort of like a local celebrity or it could give you really good luck at like getting your stories published in your local newspaper. Your Jupiter gift is gonna be best expressed in your home or with your family. Let's say that you have Jupiter in Scorpio is falling in your fourth house. So you already have gifts related to inheritance because of Jupiter in Scorpio. If it falls in your fourth house, then this could be that you like you end up inheriting a family business or maybe you keep your father's secret his whole life because you have that Jupiter and Scorpio and then at the end of his life he leaves you his house. You want to express your Jupiter gift inside your home. Let's say that you have Jupiter in Taurus and so you're able to recognize things of beauty and things of value and then it's in the fourth house and this can give you a home that's like like a palace, like a Donald Trump home or something like that maybe, you know, where it's just filled with gold and all these beautiful things. Your Jupiter gift might be able to be expressed in the real estate industry. Maybe your Jupiter is in Aquarius and you have the gift for like novel, innovative ideas. Maybe you express it in the realm of genealogy because that's a realm that's like really growing right now. Genealogy, ancestry, and these are fourth house realms. And so if you can take your Jupiter gift and you can express it in an area that has to do with family, genealogy, ancestry, DNA, stuff like that, that, that could be a very good outlet. Jupiter in the fourth house will kind of bless anything that lies below ground as well. A career that relates to caves, for example, or anything that goes in the ground. Caves, graves, hobbit house. It could be like mining and it could also be that your Jupiter gift is something that's like inherited from your mother or your mother's side. The fourth house has to do with nighttime. So your Jupiter gift could come out very strongly in the night and it could give you luck in anything that relates to childhood, childhood foundations, childhood psychology. The area of your life to apply your Jupiter gift is the part of your life that's just for fun, that's just for recreation, that's enjoyable. Let's say that you have Jupiter and Capricorn, so you have this gift for being like really organized and having everything together and all this kind of stuff. And then it falls in the fifth house. So then you could take your like your business and management acumen and then you could apply it to like a fifth house sort of thing and you, you could just go wild. Say you decide to invest in a theme park and all of a sudden you create your own Disney World. Fifth house has to do with dating for pleasure so maybe you take your Capricorn gift, your amazing Capricorn gift of organization etc and then you apply it to fifth house and you create like the next Tinder app or something like that. You want to take your Jupiter gift and you want to apply it to the area of life that has to do with pursuits of fun and enjoyment and creativity and to a certain extent pursuits related to children as well. Maybe you end up having Jupiter and Gemini and you are, are have such a gift for like writing, speaking and stuff like that and then it falls in the fifth house you end up reporting on the entertainment industry. Jupiter in the fifth house it can also give luck in the realm of gambling, casinos, horse racing or betting or stuff like that and it can give you a really lucky really smart and wise first child. You need to take your Jupiter gift and you need to give it away 
in service to humanity through your day-to-day -day work. But Jupiter in the sixth house expands the work that we do in every day, especially work that relates to being of service to other people or even work that relates to health, nutrition, medicine. Let's say your Jupiter is in Aquarius, you're very, very innovative, you have a really good network, and then your Jupiter falls in the sixth house. So then you decide that you're actually going to create an organization to teach new and emerging forms of nutrition and you join together with a bunch of friends, you join this organization and it just spreads you know, throughout the world and has a huge major impact. But the point is that you're taking your Jupiter gift and you're applying it to your day-to-day -day work. You're incorporating your Jupiter gift every single day. You want it to be what you do for your career and you want it to be something that's going to benefit other people. You can have luck by bringing in a pet because the sixth house has to do with small animals or even being involved in the pet industry, the grooming industry, humane societies. You can have luck with your employees if your Jupiter is in the sixth house. And you can have luck that relates to health as well or an expansion of understanding and wisdom as it pertains to health. The area of your life to apply your Jupiter gift is in your one-on-one -on -one relationships. So you wanna take your Jupiter gift and you wanna apply it to your marriage or to any other very significant one-on-one -on -one relationships, like your significant other, your business partner, your very, very best friend, but your Jupiter gift is going to be best expressed in those one-on-one -on -one relationships. And your Jupiter gift can also be used to deal with any situations that you might have relating to enemies, because the seventh house has to do with enemies. So if you've got an enemy, you've got somebody who's against you, who's trying to bring you down, take your Jupiter gift, take your Jupiter gift and apply it in that situation and you should prevail. The seventh house also has to do with our second child. So like, let's say that you have Jupiter and it's in the seventh house. Maybe you have a first child and that child is really tough and you think, should I really have another? You know, like, I don't know if I want to have another that was really difficult. With Jupiter in the seventh house, maybe have another because there's some luck affiliated with that second child. You want to take your Jupiter gift and you want to apply it to some sort of pursuit of transformation. You want to use your Jupiter gift to help something or somebody totally transform and rebirth themselves. Let's say that you have Jupiter in Pisces and you're really, really good at a creative hobby. Maybe you're really, really good at painting, for example, and imagining things being more beautiful than they are. You have Jupiter in the eighth house and you're able to actually like transform things using your creative gifts. So you're able to maybe take an old beat up dresser or something like that and just like paint it beautiful and make it like super, super magical, transform it into something altogether new. Take your Jupiter gift and you want to use it for transformation. You also have luck with this as it pertains to death and rebirth. So with Jupiter in the eighth house, you might be able to take your Jupiter gift and apply it to the field of inheritance or wills or you know taxes or like things like this that can relate to the end of life. Maybe you have Jupiter in Capricorn, you're a great business person and really good with long-term investments and it's in your eighth house, maybe you sell gravestones or something like that. I mean, it could definitely happen. You could have a big, big business related to that. Jupiter in the eighth house will also give you luck if you take your Jupiter gift and you apply it to the occult, to astrology, to the tarot, to magical pursuits, anything like that. It should give you luck as it relates to debts, being able to pay off debts, to being able to pay off loans, get loans, these types of things. And it should give you luck as well as it relates to sexuality, the sexual industry. So it depends on like what your Jupiter is, but let's say you have like Jupiter in Aquarius, so you have kind of luck related to like unusual things and then it's in the it, the eighth house maybe you become one of those people who sells like have you guys seen any of the shows on those like real life dolls you know what i mean like that people use as their like companions 
this is the home placement of Jupiter, the, ex the exalted placement of Jupiter in the chart. The area of your life to apply your Jupiter gift is the area that relates to knowledge and higher understanding. So you want to take your Jupiter gift and then maybe bring it into a university or write about it or get out your message, get out your truth, share your wisdom. Use your Jupiter gift to share higher wisdom with the world. You could also share your Jupiter gift in a religious context or a spiritual context. You want to take your Jupiter gift and you want to use it to bring meaning to your life and to bring higher understanding to your life. It also can relate to travels of long distance or foreign distance. So let's say that you have Jupiter in Taurus. Let's say you have Jupiter in Taurus. So you have a gift for finding things of value. And so you can take that gift and you can apply it abroad. So maybe you go abroad and you go, I don't know, you go to India or something like that and you go through the markets and you find these beautiful objects and you know what people are gonna value and then you bring them back to wherever you're from and then you sell them and you make a profit. So it can be really good with traveling for the purpose of insert your Jupiter sign here, you know, whatever is indicated by your Jupiter sign. And it can also give you luck in court, with courts or with judges or with lawyers. So that's always appreciated if you are facing a legal battle. When facing that legal battle, use your Jupiter gift and try to schedule important meetings for your Jupiter time of year and stuff like that and that will make you even more lucky. It can give you luck in anything that relates to faith or anything that requires faith. You are meant to take your Jupiter gift and use it to build your career in the long term. What is your career goal like 10, 20 years from now or even more like what do you want your legacy to be? once you die, okay? And if you have Jupiter in the 10th house, you probably are meant to leave a legacy when you die. And that legacy, whatever that legacy is meant to be, it's gonna be described by your Jupiter sign. So whatever your Jupiter sign is, that's gonna be your pathway to leaving your legacy and developing a powerful reputation and standing in your professional community. 10th house has to do with how we mentor others. So if you have Jupiter in the 10th house, you want to take your Jupiter gift and you want to teach other people how to use that Jupiter gift as well, or to advise people, mentor people. Jupiter in the 10th house, it can definitely bring luck as it relates to our career all throughout our life, but it's something where the older you get, the more that it kicks in. The area where you want to share your Jupiter magic is in groups, organizations or clubs. So whatever your Jupiter gift is, you definitely don't want to express it just on your own. Like the Jupiter magic is going to work best when you combine with other people for a greater, higher cause. You may get together with a whole bunch of your friends or a group of friends and you found an organization to serve humanity or something like that, you may have huge luck in doing so, or you may get involved in a nonprofit or in a new and emerging group of some type, and you use your Jupiter magic to rise in the ranks, and you're able to just fulfill like your dreams for humanity. I mean, that's Jupiter in the 11th house. The 11th house has to do with stepchildren and adopted children. So if you have Jupiter in the 11th house, it may be that you end up adopting a child who is the greatest blessing in your life and who has the qualities indicated by your Jupiter sign. That could happen. Or also attracting a bunch of friends who have the qualities of your Jupiter sign. And with Jupiter in the 11th house, you want to take your Jupiter gift and use it to network, use it to form community, use it to reach out to connections of other people, use it to make your dreams come true. This means that you're meant to take your Jupiter gift and you're meant to bring it into the invisible realms. The 12th house is where things go to become invisible, to dissolve. It's everything that's not really seen in day-to-day -day life. And so with Jupiter in your 12th house, your Jupiter gift might not 
be visible to other people, but that doesn't mean it's not useful. Other people might not be able to see it, you might just be seeing it. You'll find that your Jupiter gift becomes best expressed if you do it behind the scenes. Let's say that you have Jupiter in Gemini and it's placed in the 12th house. So you have this gift for writing, speaking, teaching. Maybe every so often you go off on your own to a cabin in the wilderness and you write under a pen name and then you come back into the world. Like that book that you wrote in secret, in hiding, that could just blow up or you're like detaching from the world for your Jupiter gift to manifest. I think that's really the case with Jupiter in the 12th house. It's like you've got to detach from that day-to-day -day life, go into a state of quiet, of meditation, and that's where your Jupiter gift is going to be the strongest. 12th house has to do with like places of rehabilitation, like prisons and hospitals. And so it's something interesting where you know, somebody who had this placement, they could unfortunately commit a crime and they could get incarcerated and like when they're in prison they could discover their Jupiter gift. Your Jupiter gift may be able to be really well expressed by serving a hidden population like people who have addictions or those who are in hospitals or prisoners or something like that. You might be able to give your Jupiter gift to that way. This also has to do with accessing altered states of consciousness and different levels of the mind. Well, let's say that you have a Jupiter gift related to creativity. This could be like channeled art where you go into a meditative state or something like that and you receive like these beautiful visions and then you paint them or you create them in some way. Jupiter in the 12th house can also expand your understanding of the paranormal, of spiritual things. It can expand psychic abilities and how those abilities express themselves could be indicated by your Jupiter sign. So like if it's Jupiter and Gemini, then your Jupiter in the 12th house might be that you have clairaudience, for example. There's definitely gonna be luck for um, anything that relates to tuning out of reality and into a, a higher reality. The 12th house also has to do with big animals, large animals. So with Jupiter in the 12th house, there could be some luck as well as it pertains to, <laughs> to big animals like those that we often find at the zoo. Since there's an expansion of that area of your life that other people don't see, in one sense it can give you a really beautiful and rich inner life, but it's also good to be mindful of not falling into patterns of addiction because sometimes with a strong 12th house placement like that, it can give us hidden battles as well. So you want to try to make your, you want to fill your hidden life, your invisible life, with really, really rich, really, really like peak spiritual experiences using your Jupiter gift as a pathway to that. The 12th house is where we go to lose our ego as well and to just merge with like oneness. So whatever your Jupiter gift is, if it's placed in the 12th house, you can use that gift to feel one with like all of creation, to feel like you're, you're losing yourself in that experience, but in a good way. So yeah, guys, this has been a little bit about Jupiter through the houses, and I hope you've enjoyed this little mini series on Jupiter, and I hope you guys will all, you know, discover your Jupiter gifts and apply them to the house indicated by your Jupiter sign and that your lives will just explode in the most magical ways. And yeah, you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video series. If you have, please feel free to come back any Tuesday or Friday for more videos here on the Maya's Dream channel. So thank you again and namaste. Bye.